Michael Che. This week we're here at Paradise Fitness uh, and we are going to be taking a look into two competitors uh, uh, strength and conditioning workout uh, in preparation for the Mundial and uh, they're being guided by Fit360 girl Steve Oshiro and he's done some great things with other athletes. He knows what it takes to uh, supplement your workouts uh, depending on your sport and he's very good he's got some great results so we're going to interview him and ask him what is you know what it takes for jiu-jitsu combat athletes to improve their cardio and their strength and what does he have to do differently with them in regards you know versus to other other sports athletes other athletes what, what makes what's different what kind of cardio and conditioning do you need and why is it different okay so uh, listen to the tips because he's the guy to listen to and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. The game. Playing to survive. Aiming to win any way they can. All right, we're here with Fit360 Badass, Mr. Steve Oshiro. Now, Steve, you've been helping out Dara and uh, David Harris for how long now? Uh, a couple months now. Okay, and they're going to the Mundials. They're doing the Jiu Jitsu World Championships. What do you do differently with combat athletes in regards to their strength and conditioning? What do they need if they're going to make it worth it in the gym? Uh, well, first of all, first I have to actually look and see what their sport entail, uh, entails. So in this case, it's jiu-jitsu. And I've worked with these guys in the past um, before the Asian Open, so I, I, I know what goes on in a you know, jiu-jitsu match. So. Um, and then what, what I do is I choose uh, strength strength uh, movements that augment their jiu-jitsu. Um, and uh, the important thing is not necessarily to be training body parts, but to be training movement. Uh, and so then I incorporate that uh, into their strength training. Um, and and as, as far as conditioning goes, I also try and get them to train at an elevated heart rate zone for, for uh, uh, specific, you know, bouts of time, and have them work in that zone, uh, and then bring them back down and let them recover, and, and then gradually keep increasing that. Uh, oh, nice. Because you know, when you're in a jiu-jitsu match, you're oftentimes a mad scramble that you're expending a lot of energy. Your heart rate's already up, maybe because of nerves. And these guys got to be able to get past and be able to to work in that zone. Uh, and be able to recover when they need to uh, on the mat. Awesome. Hey, so, are they working hard? They're working very hard. Good. Good Most to hear. Are, are being beast in there. All right. Well, so. thank you, Steve, very much. We appreciate your tip. And uh, we can definitely see the improvement in David and Dara's performance. So we hope that uh, they continue with it as well. Thanks again. All right. Good luck to the Purebred Mundial team. Oh, it's... we're here with uh, Dangerous David Harris. And Scarati, Dara Roberto, and they just finished their workout with Stevo. How's it been? Good. How's the workout today? Tough. Can you feel the difference? Yeah. Big difference. How so? Stronger. Stronger. How's recovery? Going good. Taking like protein powders and. Nice. Nice. Okay. How about you, Dara? She's feeling good. Uh, when I'm rolling with the strength and uh, explosive when I need to be, I'm definitely with the cardio. Up my cardio a lot. How's your diet? Diet's good. Diet's hard. Drinking most of my meals. Okay. Uh, what's the worst? Exercise that you. What's the, the exercise you hate the most? There's a lot of them. Pick one. Hurry up. Uh, maybe pushing the plate down the walk of shame. Okay, that one sucks. That one's hard. Walk of shame. It looks, it looks easy, but it's actually really hard. Okay. So. Deadlifts. Deadlifts. Deadlifts for a second. Nice. Well, it's good. Uh, would you recommend strength and conditioning to somebody? Definitely. Anybody? Okay, good. Do chicks get buff when they lift weights? Buff enough. Buff enough? Buff enough. But more performance than yeah, buff, right? Okay. Yeah. Last question. 
you have to choose between two nicknames. Buff Madness or Mad Buffness. So, David, which one are you? I'm Buff Madness. You're Buff Madness? So, David, that makes you Mad Buffness. All right. Okay, well, uh, look forward to these guys' performance at the Mundial. Keep following the blog. Thank you for letting us take a look at your workout. And we wish you good luck. Oh, it's... Oh, it's...